A rotating sprinkler is positioned 4 meters away from the wall of a house. The wall is 8 meters long. As the sprinkler rotates, the stream of water splashes the house d meters from point P. Note that north of point P is a positive distance, and south of point P is a negative distance. In part A, write a tangent function, d of theta, that expresses the distance where the water splashes the wall as a function of the rotation angle theta. We have a triangle with side lengths of 4 and d. This can be represented with a trigonometric ratio, tan of theta equals d over 4. Cross multiply to get d equals 4 tan theta. We can write this as the function d of theta equals 4 tan theta. In part b, graph the function for one complete rotation of the sprinkler. Draw only the portion of the graph that actually corresponds to the wall being splashed. Rewrite the function d of theta equals 4 tan theta. Let's redraw the sprinkler and wall so we can animate it. Now set up a coordinate grid to draw the graph. The length of the wall is 8 meters, and the wall is centered at 0 meters. Just so we're perfectly clear on the wall's boundary, draw the lines y equals 4 and y equals negative 4. Rotate the sprinkler and draw the graph of y equals 4 tan theta. Now erase the portions of the graph that shouldn't be there. Erase the regions shown. If we replay the animation, we can see that this graph is the one we actually need. Now we'll move on to part C. If the water splashes the wall 2 meters north of point P, what is the angle of rotation in degrees? Redraw the sprinkler and graph from part B. Rotate the sprinkler so it contacts the wall 2 meters north of point P. Also, draw the line y equals 2. Using a graphing calculator, find the point of intersection. This gives us theta equals 0 0.4636 radians. In degrees, the angle of rotation is 26.6 degrees. We can get this by multiplying the radian angle by 180 degrees over pi.